<clears throat> news you can use. I've talked, uh, for those of you who've been on these calls for a number of months, you've heard me talk about what would potentially happen to all of us in this country should the U.S. dollar cease to become the reserve currency of the world. Um, right now, everybody trades in dollars. It, you know, all of the countries come to the dollars. And everybody has always thought, you know, what happens if the, the Chinese yen uh, or the Russian ruble or something like that becomes a reserve currency would remove tremendously our, our power as a, uh, as a nation. But more importantly, it would really upset our financial system because the dollar is the reserve currency. It's the, it's the, the refuge of last resort. That is getting ready finally to change, but it's not coming from where we thought it might come from another country. It's actually coming from our own technology. Um, yesterday, they announced that on September 30th of this year, the International Monetary Fund will be implementing new financial laws worldwide that will probably sound the death knell for the US dollar being a reserve currency. And it comes because um, primarily folks in our country have developed blockchain technology. You guys have all heard of cryptocurrency and things like that. Well, the blockchain technology that is underlying cryptocurrency um, has become the standard for diversification of ledgers. So it, think of it like this. Uh, the internet changed. Uh, social media changed dramatically when Facebook came on the scene. It's totally different now than it was right before that happened. That's what's gonna happen here with the international monetary situation. Um, the IMF has already signaled that they intend to go to blockchain technology, making or rendering the dollar useless as the reserve currency of the world. Um, what, what can happen? Um, worst case, uh, we'll see bank failures all over the world, uh, primarily in this country. It's gonna hit us hardest because what we used to be the top dog and now we're going to be just the same as everybody else. Um, it, it could mean rampant inflation. Uh, for those of you who are following what's called quantitative easing, we've talked about this in previous calls too. Those are the fancy terms for what I've described as the government's uh, pee and shell game of printing their own money, selling those bonds and bills to banks and then buying it back. Uh, it, it's a criminal transaction in my opinion if we were anybody was to do this with their own business they'd end up in jail but the government can get by with it and um the quantitative easing has always been limited over a period of time i'm going to talk about more of this thursday night on thursday night call but uh quantitative easing has always had a limited time or a limited dollar amount the government has always controlled its ability to just go out and print money typically and the only first time they did it was in the 2008 Great Recession, and they for a limited time and several times since, and when I say limited, it would be like a two-week period or a one-week period of time, um, they would print money as ever they wanted, and they would sell it to primarily the, the Asian powers and Russia. Uh, they'd buy that because we were the reserve currency, and that would keep our interest rates low, uh, keep our inflation down. And that's all getting ready to go bye-bye. So the government continues today, and they've done it for basically the last six months. The Fed chairman day before yesterday, over the weekend, I guess, signaled that there is no end in sight. They don't see a downside to quantitative easing. And they're printing their own money and buying it back themselves. Um, and, you know, we've seen spikes in primarily commodity prices, things like corn and grain and uh, you know, a lot of things like that. You guys, we talked about timber last week being very expensive. Uh, it's gone up four times in the last six months, uh, fourfold increase. And you're going to see that in a lot of things. So inflation probably will kick in um, and interest rates are going up. So um, all this is going to make it harder for people for your business. Um, you're going to have more people who can't afford the houses that they're in. Uh, you'll see people losing houses and you'll have opportunities to turn around and make that. In the meantime, uh, the poor are going to get poorer and the rich are going to get richer and the middle class is going to disappear, in my opinion. So that's, you know, all the brightness and sunshine I've got to bring you today. Sorry, but uh, you guys need to be aware of it because they, they couch it in, in fancy terms, but that's what it comes down to. Um, so keep your eyes on September 30th this year for 
uh, this big change in, in what's going to happen. So 